The timing is part of the technique. What do you feel in you? Uh, softness. Yeah. 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 Traditionally, I would have punched you. Hi. Okay. Hi. So where is that pressure coming from? The arms, I'm saying. Whose? Mine. Yours. Hi. Activate it. Not here in your shoulder. Hi. Okay. Stay there. Hi. No. Extension. Here it goes. Not in your shoulder. Hi. Extension. Relax. With extension. You want to relax and drop it. Hi. Relax it in space. You got it? Hi. With extension. Oh, you really stick. Hi. When you felt yourself falling. Please. Just hurting yourself. Very lost. Hey. We're over here. We're over here. Hey. This way. Walk your body. Your body, we're going this way. That's a bracing angle. Hi. So when it goes fast, it goes right into that shoulder. Hi. You can touch it, but reconcile the mat. Hi. We go this way. That pause is not part of it. Keep going. You keep dragging your patel lower right there. Boom. Hey. How much do you weigh, Chris? 195. Dude, 195 fell on my lower leg. Right? What's the state of my ankle? I'm injured. It's fucked up. Tell me if you see it or feel it. Okay? As I move in a way that is in alignment with nature. And my patella is not meant to be dry. Because it moves. Okay? There I go. I keep my feet underneath me. And I use spirals instead of lines. It's lines I'm going to have to go for. And you're going to go around me. Now I'm going to go around my other knee. And that's it. And you're going to go around me. Now I'm going to go around my other knee. Don't escape. You can tap. Around this knee, and you around me. Around this knee, me around me. Don't escape. Hi. You can tap. Hi. I will tell you a third time. Boom. 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 My feet stay under. You can tap. Okay. 
<laughs> don't push him. Don't want to push him. Then you're going to do lies. Then you're going to drag him to town. Then you're going to get injured. Then you can't train. Keep going. Switch rolls. Proceed young. Okay. Tenkan and Edimi are intimately related. Okay. Tenkan doesn't mean when you do that one foot maneuver where you make a circle around yourself. That's not what it means. That's a type of tenkan. To make that point, we have another one called we call it Ushio Tenkan in our lineage, right? This is a different tenkan. There's lots of different tenkan. So, yes, he's coming in, and yes, I have to send him into the front inward position. True. Okay? Um, but I could do that here. And that would not be equal. It would do front inward position, but not equal. Okay? So, equal is going to have this kind of shape to it. Okay. You can think of it as somebody's coming in, yield and flank. Yield and flank, okay? Um, if you just think of it as that, it, it works on almost any form of aggression. Yield and flank, yield and flank. Okay. Yield and flank, all the time. Even if you had multiple forces, you had standing armies, and you yield to pull them into the ambush, and a flanking detail would kill them off, do you see? It's been used throughout history, okay? You could even use it in business, yield and flank, yield and flank. Hey, you're getting what you're not. No, you're not, okay? So, let me attach the yield and flank strategy to the front inward Kazushi mechanics, okay? So instead of over here and doing this, I'll do it in a way that they feed each other. Okay, what exactly does that mean? Well, here I will yield the flank, right? But what can you tell? What can you tell? That's freaking heavy. You see that? So it, it's going to help me determine how far do you yield. Got it? How far do you yield? Well, you'll yield according to your IT and Koku skills. Your internal skills will dictate what you have to do externally. Okay? Um, what you want to do is to reconcile that resistance point. You can do it all, let's say I have no internal skills, I'll take it, but you'll just feel when, the, when that pressure goes off, okay? Do you feel it decreasing? You see, can you see it's decreasing as I move this way? Go back over here, oh, that's heavy, you see? And I'm gonna move out, and now this is light, this is getting lighter. If I have internal skills, 
that resistance point is reconciled internally. His energy goes through me. So even though he's on top of me, it's not doing what you think it's going to do. Okay? He's just going to pass through me, hit the ground, and it adds to the projection. Okay? So very quick, boom. That would be the minimum. Like, I gotta reconcile that energy. And I can reconcile it according to my internal skills or lack thereof. What is the maximum? It would be when I take him out of the front inward position. Do you see? He's never gonna go right into it. Okay. And the angle that you're gonna take when you yield in flank in Ikkyo is. This way, this way. But it's dynamic. So it might start that way, but goes right into the other one. What it won't do is this. Okay? So he's coming in, do you see it right there? Oh. This way. Yield. Oh. So watch how my knee goes. Of course, if you, have, you can really push, 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 you can stand up. There's a lot, a lot of energy. I have uh, internal skills and it will work the same way. Pushing, pull. But, we want to do this tactic. Yield and flank. Yield and flank. What's happening is, as I do the reps, I don't stop anymore. But you can see that I move into the yield and flank position. Okay? So, first one. Already, here we go. I can tell where that yin spice is going to be on the grip. So, there, there it is. Take away as much resistance as you need externally, or reconcile that contention point internally, if you have that skill. Okay, so you're reconciling it but biomechanically, in a biomechanically unsound way, okay? You are bending your arm. Moving into the heavy space, see? Oh, heavy. So you go like this. See where that is? See where it came off? It's heavy right here. And you feel it heavy, so you go like that, you see? Instead of doing this, instead, move your body there. So at the beginning, not here like this. Boom. Leave your patatadori elbow and move into this. front of her center. Okay. So this part here is not a skeletal manipulation. You're not doing okay. See, I'm, I'm going to turn your wrist, make your elbow come up, and then your elbow is pulling you off balance. See that? 
But just see what your center feels like, okay? See how it's just there? See how it's nothing, nothing, right? Nothing. And then about here, I get it. You see that? You get that? Do it again. Stay conscious. Boom. Yep. No, I didn't. You don't feel it in your center. Did you have to move? Let's see that. So just stay where you are, and you'll feel when it starts to fit there. You see? For example, go back and sit down. You see how it resisted? You see that? So before, when you were doing this last rep, you just moved over with your elbow. You see that? Okay. Just stay there until you feel it manipulate your center. Can you sit down? Oh, a little bit more. Or can you sit back down and stay down? There you go. You see? It was kind of there, right? And now it starts to take. See that? Okay. The other one, you can just feel your center, okay? And try to leave it still in place. Try to stay seated, seated and stay seated. You see? It's already moving your center. You see? Do you get that? We'll do it again. Stay seated and stay seated. Don't move. Okay? I'm going to pull your elbow. You see, even if I turn your elbow, it's not in your center. You see that? And now as I start to move, so you can sit down. Yeah. Don't go with it, in other words. Just stay seated and let it move. Now you feel it on your side. And then the other one. No, just stay seated. All right? It's already in there. You see? Right from the get. Oh, already in there. Try to sit down. You see? Mm. Okay? So if I go in front of you, even if I'm yielding and flanking, now I'm in front of you. You see? Can you sit down? Yeah, you see? Oh, you just, you just turn your elbow because of a cultural thing. Can you sit down? Yeah, you see? And on the other one, you feel that? Okay? Then your body, you see? All right? So, first one, stay seated. I'm in front of you. All this is out here. And really open your grip, and you can see nothing to it. Okay? Oh, open your grip, and you can see it was in your center. Okay? So, out, yield, feel their center, take their center into the position. Don't take their line of gravity outside their base of support. Do you see that? Hi. Their line of gravity will fall outside of their base of support by what you're incidentally doing with your pattern, the yielded flank. But this is a center attack. You see? Boom. Boom. So you keep going anyway. It's always going in your center. Yield in flank, not in front. Yield in flank, in the center. You see that little forward there? Do it exactly the same. That one. Okay? Think about it. I'm going forward because uh, I want to spread them out. Okay, so first let me do the, 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 the air so you can bring your attention. Okay? When you did five, now you go like this. Did you see that last time? Right here. Okay? There's some fetish about this ending position. Do you get it? Right. If you dig deeper, it was pretty comfortable for you, wasn't it? Right. Can you see? It's an ending position for a comfortable uke. I don't understand how that would be part of the form. Your comfortability is not my problem. It's your problem. Hey. Do you get it? Hey. So this is going to be the same thing uh, when I was telling Virginia not to escape. You remember? Hey. Why was she escaping? It was uncomfortable. It was very uncomfortable, okay? 
But your tool that you have is what? Keeping my center connected with the no. shoulder. What was the tool I told Virginia? Tap. 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 Okay. So let's figure out why you why you might want to tap. Hi. Okay. So I'm gonna get on the inside of your grip. You see? Hi. What do you feel? Is it loosening or tight? No, it's getting tight. Let's do the other one. Hi. Okay. So I'm gonna go around this inner knee and get on the inside of your arm. The inside. You see? Hi. And the path for it is in a circle. Watch it go off and I start going straight. You Hi. see that? I'm gonna tighten this inside the circle and going around this now. Now, let's say I do care about you, like <laughs> you not taking care of yourself. Hi. Okay? And so I was letting her slide out a little bit. Got it? So I might want to just let it up. Do you see? Hi. And I end up here. Look at my knee. Hi. Instead of here. To me, this is better. I let you out of the technique. So I don't keep my knee there. Do you get it? Hi. But I don't put my knee there and never put you in the technique. Do you understand that difference? Hi. Okay. Boom. Around me, and it's gonna go around this knee. Oh. Then I'm gonna let you out. You see that? Right. If you wanted to play that game. Otherwise, they can tap. Okay? Is that not the rule? I got no more space to reconcile with yin energy, your yang energy. Tap. You control it. And then the yang energy is off. Thank you, Sensei. Let's play with this yield and flank. So we'll just start with some abstract vectors. Uh, he, he's going to push. You can have your other hand up. Get your other hand up. Okay? So I'm going to yield here. Yield here. Boom. Boom. I'm going to have this paw here to get that. Okay? So, and this hand is here. But I'm not knocking it off here. There's the yield. Other side, okay. So the yield there. Boom. Let me do that side again. Like this. Okay. Yield. All the other hand down. We're working on multiple. Push the other hand up. Okay. Yeah. 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 Push now, push. Do you see that difference? Yes. So, 
it's the same thing. You're pushing. It's just growing the belt. It's just growing the belt. Let's come over here. The same thing. I'm pretending you're here pushing. You push. It's just growing the belt. Even if you come to this crazy angle, it's not this. You see? I, I still in that same grounded position. Okay? Oh, my. So, when I yield, it's not out of weakness. I used to go around the range. So, anywhere in the technique, right, let's say you feel the yield there, okay, so I got there. And the same thing, you come and you push. It's not weak, it's round, you see? Yes. And you care, and I yield. Okay? Don't confuse. That's the problem when everything is external with no internal. It be, it's weak. Okay? It might be a training step, but it's not practical and it's not the art. Okay? Get your ground vector. Yield. Yielding is not, think of yielding as tactical repositioning. It's not retreating. Okay? So it's just like in Ikkyo, whatever I couldn't reconcile externally, I can stay here and let that energy pass through me. So he's push, he's pushing on me, but I can just let it pass through me and bounce it off the ground. Okay? By releasing. Alright? So same thing here. He's driving and you don't realize that he's panicking, he's making you feel threatened. And you're pushing into him. And as a result, you're generating friction between the two surfaces. You see? So even though you're kind of moving, as you get scared or you start to desire to throw, you're pushing in. But he's, he can drive. Let's just exaggerate his drive, you see? And uh, I'll just start releasing without any of the deviation. Do you see that? And so, or so, so you can see it on this side, okay? So, again, subconsciously, there's all this stuff and you're just creating more friction. But if you, re if you release, you just release, 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 you get slippery because you don't, because relative to what I just demonstrated, you're not pressing the two surfaces together, okay? So, if we're doing the, the movement, it doesn't take a big thing, Got to release, it's done. Got it? So maybe it's a guy uh, coming in to grab and punch. And you're in, do you see? Because I don't have all that time. I just release right away. And I'm, I am responding, but it looks more like I initiated, but I didn't. Okay? So as you go to release, remember the internal aspects and not just the external aspect. Because Again, that's not the art because it's not practical. Okay? Let's try, let's try the other way. Okay, so this time we're on the humble lateral side, right? Uh, and because it's going to emphasize more the binding. Okay? So I, I'm going to release, release, release. And my external is going to be a turn. And if need be, I'll take this step. But. I'm releasing, releasing, releasing. This is enough. Okay? Just that slight turn. Okay? So I'll do the slight turn. Boom. And I'll go to the back. Push. Start bringing our hands back in, and up. Okay, let's get to it. So let's, let's understand the earlier point I made. So he, he, when we do our uh, kihon, he has spinal displacement. So if I'm not grounding, when he comes in, he's attacking my center. He's, he's attacking my center. And that was the energy that I'm reconciling here, sending to the ground, and then using to project them. And earlier we described what was too minimal, a yield and flank.
because this was that energy of the spinal displacement was still too great to send in another direction. And I told you the maximum though was when we start taking them out of the front inward kazushi and we start going this way. You see that? Usually people that do that version is now they set up the front inward kazushi from the guy who went down. Okay? So don't let go this time. And here, and he gets up, and then you go with him, you see? Um, I don't like the what-if techniques. To me, Kihon is to not do what-ifs. It's fine to do what-ifs, but they're not Kihon to me, okay? You're playing with a Kihon, got it? Um, well, I would say that that would have you fall out of Ikkyo, okay? And then you start it again, okay? Same thing here. I go like this. I'm going to reconcile this with my heel, you see, and then my flank. But I'm over here. I've fallen out of the technique, okay? Instead, as he's going, I'm still forward. It's very minimal. He's, he's driving on me. His other hand is up. Right? And I'm in. You see that? I'm not going to go. He's stuck. He's stuck. Because I'm pushing on it, pushing on it. Look how far I have to turn to get that thing to come off. Or how much strength I have to use to get it off. It's just a pass. That's enough. A pass. Don't take yourself out of the edemi. Okay? Let's try. So, uh... Same thing, yield and flank will now move from these abstract vectors, and he's got like a jab cross combination. And it'll be the same thing, boom, boom, I just gotta get to the outside, yield flank. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, follow the cross back, boom. Absorb, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. So in past we came here and we bobbed under this one up, you're gonna yield and flank. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. And you can see it's like Ikkyo. It is. Boom, boom. Boom. Pull your pull your cross ball. Boom. Back up. Boom. Okay? Let's try it.